this motor hasn't started in 10 years. I'm wanting first to know if I need to take the carburetor apart and clean it up, no doubt. So I even decided not to fill up this gas tank. Got an old gas tank here I'm gonna use. Let's give it a few spins, see what happens. I doubt nothing's gonna happen, but Sounds like it's wanting to go. Yeah, I think we'll be able to at least go on a little test run. It would help first if I put the chain on. Double checking everything. This thing off. All right, here we go. on here and the front brakes got a long ways to go yet but figured out how to get the thing running you know what it was uh, this being a beginner's bike I realized uh, after searching the internet that these came with a lot of safety features and one was a little uh, off switch on the kickstand and I had one uh, plug dangling there and I realized that was it. Cross the wires, boom, start it up. Push a little harder for the clutch. Clutch is now working. It's all A-OK. -okay. And it's a fun ride. <laughs> Try to keep this nice and fluid and even when you do this. Oh, 
Poor God. <laughs> Try it again. See what that came out. I'm not sure it's gonna come out very good. Yeah, I believe that's gonna work. I had fun working on this. Finally got it all installed. Now I'm laying out the uh, brake caliber mount. Let's cut these puppies out. Here's a little technical info. These two front wheels came off of an uh, older 19... 90s uh, YZ110 dirt bike. I got them on a used uh, motorcycle shop that's now defunct, but you can probably get them on eBay. Uh, these have 8 inch diameter disc brakes. I got the uh, disc brake kit off of Amazon. Came with all this. There's a picture showing what how it came. It even has one disc for the rear. I threw that out. I just need the brakes for the front. Um, Plugged it up with the little bolt you see there, and then I bought two new lines that are 100 cm long, fit perfect for this application. Now, I wasn't going to use these at first because I realized, you know, they work on a small disc, and I wouldn't have enough meat to grab this 8-inch disc. But this is my um, old original brake that I was going to use. I was going to rebuild it. I got these when I got the discs years ago. But then I started looking at them and realizing, holy crap, these are the same model. So this is the little disc that came with the kit, and these are the pads that came out of the caliper. But here's my 8-inch discs, and here are the pads that go with that. But I realized, like I said, same model. These guys fit right in. Woohoo! So now I've got uh, the pads in there that'll work for my 8-inch discs. It was a little difficult getting this mount just right, but I got it. I had to shim it with some washers to get it to where the, uh, the disc pad didn't fall out. <laughs> but they work good. I like them.
now. Don't tell me I'm out of wire. Ah! Mayhem. Ah, I hate it when that happens. Very cool, Paul. Thank you.